What's up, YouTube? Just Gav here, bringing guys a brand new video here up on the channel. Really early in the morning for me. Actually, I'm up because sleeping schedule, work schedule, a lot, a lot of fuckery going on. Nobody cares about that. Anyways, <laughs> Dice just dropped the hotfix patch notes for 3.2.1, coming off the heels of 3.2. So uh, this is coming out next week, apparently. I just was scrolling on Twitter, and I saw it, and I'm like, what? They're already putting out notes for the patch notes that we just got <laughs> anyways they're going to be addressing some hot fix changes i'm, I'm going to call this the hot fix update because that's really what it is because it's a very small update not very much i scrolled down like once or twice it's not that much but it is some important things that they're going to be addressing so we're just going to read through this really quickly um i haven't read all of it i just wanted to get kind of my reaction to it and you know try to get a video out there for you guys uh some content out there for you guys so i appreciate it. next week we'll be releasing update 3.2.1 which includes our fest first Set of balance tuning now that the return to class system is in your hands. The past week has been a blast for the team. We've seen the jump on the return to classes and we reworked breakaway. We appreciate your continued feedback and we've been thoroughly enjoying all the great gameplay clips that you've been sending our way. We'll follow up early next week with a final release time for update 3.2.1. <laughs> once the available for once 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 that's available for play. Sorry. Their next plan update is for the release season four, of course. We're looking forward to sharing more details with you with that about that on a later date with you at a later date <sighs> reading it's hard isn't it so let's scroll down and of course at the top of the list is the javelin now if you guys know anything about the javelin javelin plus tracer dart has been pretty busted uh, one of the biggest problems with it was that you could shoot the tracer dart that had like a hit scan basically across the map and even if a tank was in cover you could lock on to the little reticle it gives you through buildings hills sand ice gravel you name it it could lock on basically through solid objects because you know the javelin goes up and but even if you broke line at line of sight with a helicopter or a tank or whatever it would still let you lock onto it and so the javelin would just go find you if there was nothing over the top obviously it would just go find you and hit you from the top and that's not very i don't care about realism i don't know if it can do that you know through solid i don't care about that this is a video game so for all you milsim enjoyers out there they're like it's a video game let's act like it good that's a good change and i don't know if they're gonna reduce the damage though it does a ton of damage um there's even a bug where it can do like 75 damage from the top i, I don't think i've ever experienced that but i think it's like 55 right now base which is i think it's even more with the trait let's read through it i'm gonna stop rambling uh the, the the javelin can no longer lock onto the tracer dart while the dart is out of line of sight boom there's the fix the tracer dart gun which needed to be uh, adjusted tracer dart will no will not correctly drop in height depending on the distance that's traveled okay reduce the projectile speed from 500 to 250 that's actually they cut it in half that's insane the uptime for the tracer dart will now last 12 seconds instead of 40 seconds <laughs> Dude, it was 40 seconds whenever a tracer dart. That's crazy. Um, gameplay flow and social elements. Unlock descriptions will now correctly show for class badges on the reward screen after a match. <laughs> Fixing issue where it's time for firing what is for longer than expecting the assault rifles. Okay. Fixing issue with auto deploy. Okay. No longer the assault rifle officially will no longer grant extra animations for underbarrel grid. Oh, yeah. If you guys didn't know, uh, with the assault rifle proficiency when playing assault you got three extra magazines but it turns out it was actually giving you th uh three extra or two extra grenades per grenade slot so you would have five he five you know whatever five armor piercing five whatever whatever so you'd have 15 underbarrel grenades um for your i didn't even know that i i because the they gutted the, the drum mags and so i haven't been using the scar that much and but yeah they give you 50 <laughs> you could have 15 grenade underbarrel grenades for your launcher which is insane fix a minor desync issue with the result of the player jumping in a slightly longer arch thing. that's like the floatiness that everybody was talking about um specialist okay here we go uh fix an issue with allow players to select any guy oh the the specialist bug yeah i never tried it out but some people were able to do it increase the health of the mountain of vulcan by 60 percent wow i guess it was getting destroyed too quickly fix the issue if i went up against direct gunfire ah, okay Mount Vulcan now lasts seven seconds from the mo uh, moment it begins firing to reaching its overheating point. Okay. Players are no longer able to place down four mounted Vulcans. One is enough. <laughs> you can no longer use dozers while using a uh, parachute or whilst prone. I knew about the prone one. I didn't know about the parachute one. That's interesting. Huh. 
Uh, oh, here we go. This is the big one for me. As part of the recent update 3.2, we, we reduced the ADS time for drum and extended mags. We're reverting that change in this update. Thank God. Nobody asked for it. Nobody asked for that. And the dude, the, the, the weapons leader or designer that's the lead on that was in Discord talking about, well, we didn't know if we really wanted to make, so we did it, but I think we went too far. So if you don't know if you want to do something, don't do it. Unless you think it's good for game, which obviously it wasn't, because... Okay, your feedback change. Yeah, 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 yeah. With shorter magazine, you have to pick up your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it, we get it. Act upon feedback. Drumming ADS draw rate has been reverted to pre update 3.2. You'll not notice the draw rate is more immediate and less weighted than before. The MTAR. I'm not a big fan of the MTAR, so let's see what they did. Adjusted the recoil of the MTAR to be in line with other assault rifle weaponry, so they made it a laser gun, I assume. Even more of a laser gun. They reduced the recoil. This is what this is telling me. <laughs> MTAR damage is increasing. Ooh. If you guys have been watching my stream since update 3.2, you will know I have been complaining that the MTAR plays like an SMG and not like an assault rifle. This is sneaky right here. Damage increase up to 40 meters from 18 to 22. This is, which within 40 meters is an is a SMG-ish range, but this is huge. It should hit harder, closer. Um, this is a good change right here. I think the MTAR will be more playable. Uh, for me personally, I have like 200 and something kills. I actually like the PP2000 more because it's a laser gun. PP2000 damage increase up to 50 meters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so for, for those people who tier one both of these guns before this update, I feel bad about you. Now, if you notice, something is missing. Class, do we know what's missing from this patch note? Do we? Do we, we got the MTAR adjustments. We got the PP2000 adjustments. That's a huge hint. What's missing? Dice, what's missing? What's missing? Oh, that's right. The EMR, according to this update, I didn't see anything about it, is still going to be a two-shot kill within 40 meters and a one-shot kill within 39 meters to the head. Did, do you guys see any EMR? I don't see anything. So they're going to leave the EMR how it is? So is it a bug? Because they... they PP2000 MTAR, that's the only two adjustments I see. I don't see any EMR anywhere. I'm reading through it right now as fast as I can. Nothing. No EMR changes. So I was hoping that I could use it just enough to get it to where it's close to Tier 1. But now I can kind of relax with it and, and if they're just going to leave it that way. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, tell, me you guys think, tell me you guys what you think about the hotfix down below it, the update so far. And if you're enjoying 3.2... Uh, the breakaway rework, all that good stuff, and how excited are you for season four? I'm ready for some new content, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. When you start getting in that 10 plus week, uh, you know, 10 plus weeks, nine, 10, 11 plus weeks into a season, especially a 14 week season instead of 12, it really starts to lean on you. I'm definitely not having as much fun with the game as I was, you know, ever since they took the breakaway and the spearhead manifest, all those 24 seven playlists. Once they take those away and it's normal breakthrough, I'm like, oh. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Check out all the social media down below. Consider becoming a member on the channel if you don't want to. That's fine. So you get emotes, early access to videos sometimes, even though I don't make that many videos, <laughs> and uh, some other, you know, chat privileges and, and things like that. But uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <gasps> See you. Bye, guys.